Hey guys, today we're checking out Casino Royale from 1967. Let's get to it. Okay, we are checking out Casino Royale 1967. I have watched 20 James Bond movies, the real ones, so check them out if you missed them. Mr. Bond, I'm Lieutenant Mathis of the Special Police. These are my credentials. They appear to be in order. Come with me. All right, okay. I have been warned that this movie, I know there are some fans out there, but I've been warned that this movie is terrible. Starring Peter Sellers is the main reason I wanted to watch this because I loved him so much in Doctor Strangelove. So check that out if you missed it. But David Niven, Orson Welles. Yes, I've heard this is like a stacked cast and I've heard that the music is really fun. So I've heard that this story makes no sense. I've heard it starts off pretty strong uh, as a, like a spoof satire of the James Bonds. And by the end, it completely falls apart and makes no sense at all. So, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, I missed the bomb thing. I heard that Peter Sellers got fired before the end of the movie was filmed, so they had to just rewrite scenes and use doubles. So it sounds like a real sh show. Let's do it! <laughs> oh. Ba -da -ba -da. All these cars converging on one spot. This is fun already, musically. I feel like the music is gonna be my favorite thing about this, I think. If you guys know any other trivia about this movie, feel free to tell me. Kind of fascinated by it. I used to say a good spy is a pure spy, inside and out. Pure spy. Just lions? I did not come here to be devoured by symbols of monarchy. I warn you, Em, <laughs> if this is a trap, arm yourselves, gentlemen. It's no trap, I assure you. Look at these lions. Em is unbothered. Just on the roof. I know this. A veritable Eden, is it not, gentlemen? Eden without an Eve is an absurdity. A good spy is a pure spy. They keep saying that. A good spy is a pure spy. The true one and only James Bond. There he is. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, look at this old butler. Ransom, CIA, Sir James. Look, did you need a cipher card? Give him my day, weren't you, Ransom? Uh, yes, sir. And JCC, uh, Class G, SIC to SCCT. <laughs> so many letters. Smirno, KGB, Sir James. I remember your ch ch chap Lenin very well. It's got First a stutter. You left us. We were a small service. It was essential that your legend be maintained. Without a James Bond, 007, no one would have respected us. So what? He's the original James Bond, and now there's a new one? You, Ransom, with your trick carnation that's spits cyanide. You ought to be ashamed. Russian started it. <laughs> Huge man off with a, an armory concealed in your grotesque boots. And you, Legrand, with different deadly poison in each of your fly buttons. Oh, well, I never. And you, Em, with your flame and throwing fountain pens. I wish I could see all these gadgets. Your joke shop spies, gentlemen. Ooh. We are in the last half of the 20th century, Sir James. Even you have to face it. Joke shop spies? I've lost 11 agents in the last fortnight. Seven oh, well. killed, four missing. Is it too much to hope that my namesake is among them? He hates the new James Bond. The enemy has penetrated our most secret inner circle. What are the villain? I'm quite sure he's not one or more of you. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, cannot be. We need your inspirational leadership in this dark hour. They need him back. If I may interrupt this flow of cliché, it is now <laughs> that time of day I have set apart for Debussy. Ooh. I do like to imagine that James Bond can just shred on the piano. Why at the height of his powers did Bond decide to retire? Met a Harry, my dear friend. A woman in his life. Ah, woman. Should have known. It was his painful duty to lure her across the Spanish frontier to France, where we what? stood her in front of a firing squad. They killed the woman he loved? I'm sorry, old man, but, but what you ask is quite impossible. Perhaps this will change your decision. Is it from the Queen? Ah, uh, from Windsor Castle. My record speaks my loyalty, but no, not even for her, McTerry. Won't even read it. Oh, something tells me he's coming out of retirement. Sorry, James. Did I catch it? There's McTerry's signal. <laughs> I blew his wig up. <gasps> they blew up his house! <laughs> Authority to control. Sir James Bond is back with his moral, his vows, and his celibate image. Celibate image. The target has just entered Scotland. I can't believe they blew up his house. <laughs> and that's all that's left of the McTarry. Your <laughs> husband died as he lived, Lady Fiona, in the service of Her Majesty. He died! 
Look at this dog. No death remains. Nothing to speak of, I'm afraid. Taxidermy. But whether it is an article of, of apparel or an, an, an anatomical feature, that is the question. Is it a toupee? It can only be regarded as a heirloom. Oh, God. I see. A heirloom. Okay. According to clan tradition, when the laird dies, a black eagle must be taken alive off Ben Tarry by six barefoot virgins. Please don't show that. Sear it, boil it, and serve it up. Sounds d delicious. Ew. We start feasting at midnight, washing the haggis down with Uskaba. Yeah, haggis, right? That's what I thought. And away we go to the memorial grouse shoot. But, but surely the, the grouse are not in, in season. Whenever a Mac Tarry <sighs> dies, the grouse come into season. Wow. I feel like they could have showed all of that instead of just having a conversation about it. Your bath's ready, Sir James. Look at this room. We always held daddy. Uh, are there any, any men in the house? Nine but the pipers. My daddy only liked the lasses. Okay, is he really dead or are they just doing this to get rid of his image? <laughs> what is this, like a sex castle? There's definitely going to be like a naked lady in there. Yeah. I'm testing the temperature of the water, as I always did for my daddy. Gross. You're sure I'm not crowding you? Get in. Ah, do you like your back scrubbed? <laughs> Thank you. What are we watching? What is your name, my dear? Buttercup. Ah, like Princess Bride. How um, old are you? Seventeen. Get out of the tub now. Now, turn around. No. What is your favorite subject? Anatomy. It's getting guy cold. My daddy liked it hotter. I am not your designer. Quite. I am highly uncomfortable with this scene. <laughs> Poisoned? All the best. <laughs> Poisoned or drunk? Good night, ladies. Whew. Please don't be a 16 year old. It's the widow. So this James Bond is celibate. Comfort me, Jamie lad. Give me your bosom to weep on. Do. Do me, Jamie. Do, do. Quaint custom, but one more honored in the, the breach than in the observance. Then you'll have to pay the piper. Is she gonna kill him? Robin! Jock! Sandy! You've been challenged to Warsaw with Sir James. Warsaw? He's just as in as Warsaw? Like wrestle? I haven't wrestled for years. I may be a little out of the brackets. This sure is wacky. I feel like I keep forgetting. I've been told not to pay too much attention to the plot because in the end it makes no sense. So now they are warsling. Okay, all right. What is Warsaw? Is he gonna throw it? Like, like shot put? Through the door. <laughs> Ew, did his back just pop? Ew. This guy's got it, for sure. <laughs> Idiots. This is a really weird scene. <laughs> whop, whop. I guess he wins the warsel. Kill boss, kill majesty. How come he's so strong and all the other guys weren't? It doesn't matter. One hand. Oh, that note's a little James Bond. Peters, follow Marie over to the back. Oh, my love. It's like a red, red rose. I kind of hope this lady is not in it for very much longer. She, she bugs me. I feel like she has way too many lines. Is she gonna jump? <laughs> Why? Supercharge! Roger! Fire! The button! The button! She's with him! Uh, what? <laughs> Is it not gonna blow up? Our orders were to corrupt you, to befoul your image of yourself. Right. Failing that, we were to kill you. Blow it up! Yeah. All right, explosions. That's good. Is she You're dead? wounded. Oh. Farewell, Jamie. She's gonna die now? Kiss me, Jamie. Okay. I'm going to another world. There's a convent over that hill. To the convent she goes. All right. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Pants down. 
Bond leaving Scotland now. I feel like I want to forget this version of Bond. It's like tarnishing the good name of James Bond. Him falling down with his pants around his ankles. No, that's not James Bond. And I say that as someone who enjoyed Austin Powers. Because Austin Powers was still smooth, you know? Get ready to deliver milk. Stand by remote control. Distance ready. Milk bombs incoming. Prime detonators, check. Now, I think I read too that they originally wanted this guy to be Bond and he kept trying to play it really straight and rewrite the scenes. Is that right? I want to see someone get some air. I don't know if they can. Hey, yeah, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now that's dynamite, okay? I'm gonna need to see this milk truck blow up. Jack, you dare me! Go speed, no! Hello, Jack. Come in, Jack. <laughs> Come in, Jack. <laughs> <gasps> Does he have a one-liner? No, just a tisk tisk tisk. Money penny. Money penny. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, she's lovely. Well, okay, so they just make out. Actually, I'm Miss Money Penny's daughter. Hmm. Scallywag. How is your dear mother? After you left the service, she took the vows. That seems to be the in thing to do these days. But right to the convent? She probably also told you that I'm partial to jasmine tea. Jasmine tea, sir. Doesn't drink. May I say welcome back, Sir James? Ah, oh, thank you, um... Hadley, sir. Huh? Of course, Hadley. Uh <laughs> so why are the black flags there? Dead. They've been liquidated, I'm afraid, sir. Finland stabbed to death in a lady's sauna bath, sir. Oh, sir. Incidentally, where <laughs> is my namesake? We've had to take him off the board, sir. He's now doing television. Television? Who's there? Your nephew, sir. Uh, Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond! Listen, you can't shoot me! It's I, have, uh, I have a very low threshold of death. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what if I said I was pregnant? <laughs> Uh, could I have a last cigarette? I, I, I'm gonna give it up any day now. I'm so nervous. I, I think they're gonna shoot him. Wait. Oh, it was a, it was a gadget cigarette. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I hope we see him again. Female spies harass me in Scotland. Female spies chase me to London. We need an AFSD. Sir? Anti-female spy device. Female. We find the one man all women want, and then we train him not to want women. I want you to go through all the auxiliary files. The lot, sir? It'll take all night. Your mother did some of her best work at night. hi -oh. Just in her jammies. <laughs> Oh, is this how we see? I see. Happy. No good. Oh, is he the one? Shall we continue? <laughs> and what is your name? Cooper, big eyes, but don't be formal. Call me Coop. Sounds like something for keeping birds. That's me. Keeping birds. Hey, oh. I really have to note your qualifications. Right. Six foot two and a half. Holder of the Kama Sutra Black Belt. Kama Sutra Black Belt. Call Mr. Zacharias and tell him not to wait up. The vacancy has just been filled. <laughs> that is quite a job interview. From now on, all remaining agents and trainees will be known as James Bond 007, including the girl. All of them? The enemy won't know which way to turn. You are now James Bond. Okay. Congratulations, 007. It's a good plan. Good hunting, 007. Even the girls. All of them. James Bond. Okay. I'm the new secret weapon. And I've just been perfected. Yes, haven't you? That kept me under wraps. This movie is weird. What do you do that's so secret? I don't do anything, but unless you're one of them, you do. Flipper! <laughs> I do like that part. <laughs> Our security man in Delhi tells us gold will be up two points by midday tomorrow. Buy gold. What about Lord Nelson's statue? It was delivered today, Miss Lynn. I've been told that the original Bond girl from Dr. No is in this, and I think it's her. What is the purpose of your visit? I desperately need your help. So hardly ever undertake assignments these days. I can see why, but I think I can persuade you to undertake this one. What is she wearing? i just now noticing her headdress. What a charming outfit that is. <laughs> right. Do you often wear that in the office? If I wore it in the street, people might steer. Indeed. Ooh, secret, secret. Ooh, secret panel. Now this is Peter Sellers, right? Right? Has, is this the first time we've seen him? Mr. Evelyn Tremble. 
Yes. Do you know me from somewhere? Your book, Tremble and Baccarat. Oh, Baccarat. There are several passes you describe in your book, which I don't fully understand. And this song was in Austin Powers, and this scene is reminding me of Austin Powers. And my book is in... My bed. You're winning tonight. She is very beautiful. Hello, it's me, Evelyn Tremble. Oh, hello, Mr. Tremble. Can you hold on for a moment? Is she getting rid of her body? <laughs> Come right up, all right? Bye-bye. Is she going to try and kill him? The look of love. I think Burback Rack won the Oscar for this song. Is it the song or the whole score? Came to the sky. And this song was definitely in Austin Powers, for sure. Hey, the fish aren't moving. You've got the look of love. I think this girl might try and kill him, but I'm not sure. Lovely place you've got down there. Sit here. Is that champagne? The more relaxed the muscles, the better the synchronization between mind and body. You should think you're frightfully synchronized, Mr. Tremble. <laughs> <laughs> Martini? What about them? Chicken, not stirred. Is she trying to kill him or what? Well, we better go right through the book, hadn't we? Do you really think that your system is completely faultless? This is so weird. Come on, we have more to do. She's in slow mo, but he isn't. <laughs> That's also oh, I thought Austin you might Powers. Have a little I'm glad I'm seeing these uh, references from Austin Power from this in Austin Power. You find some clothes in there. Put some on. You think it's really necessary? Unless you like to go around one more time. Is she gonna try to kill him or not? Have you ever heard of a man called Le Chiffre? Oh yes, an excellent card player. Is he Napoleon? I devoted a chapter to him in my book. His forte is Baccarat. Beside Baccarat, he deals in lechery. Well, nobody's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> well, you'll remember that in order to operate my system completely free of risk, a stake of 100,000 pounds is required. Stand still. Hmm? I really like her robe. What would you say if I offered to stake you in a game against the sheep? Why would you do that? I put up the money, you play the game, and we split 50-50. I think I'll go now, if you don't mind. What's wrong? I enjoyed the earlier part of this evening very much. But now you're using me for money. You said you needed a hundred thousand pounds? It's yours. It's fantastic. Stacks and stacks. The sheaf had never agreed to play me. He's read my book. He'd recognize my name. We have chosen a new name for you. James Bond. Old James Bond. The small minox camera, isn't it? Yes, it's Mr. Yeah. Bond, isn't it? Uh, yes. So he's also James Bond. Okay. May I tell you something? I'm being followed. Oh, yes, I know. It's part of the training. Yes, but the whole point of this is I can quite clearly see the man who is shadowing me. That guy with the binoculars. He's our security man. See. <laughs> On the command, the head is turned, thus, the hat is aimed, thus, the gun is fired, thus. All the gadgets are malfunctioning. Morning, Q. Good morning, Four Days. This is you. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Mm. Now, this is very important. Try it on. It's your means of reporting to us. Ah, gadget watch. Channel 6. Oh. Look at your watch. <clears throat> Tell me what you see. They're just beating that guy. But it's absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like this. It's just as if we're in the same room. It's a two-way television and radio wristwatch. Oh, well, ahead of its time. Ah, tea. Three months. <laughs> this is an incredible thing. Now he gets tea, the guy they read up. What is happening? This seems to be a little bit tight around the... Uh, yeah. well, I'm sure we can uh, let it out above the uh, switch uh, blade and uh, combined Geiger counter. Oh, the Geiger counter. Uh, there's an infrared camera in here, a Beretta in the buttonhole. B buttonhole for dice. That was a weird shot. Is he overwhelmed by this? Just one thing. What happens if I suddenly need to go somewhere? You'll find the safety instructions under the left lapel. This is so weird. The tone of this is very weird. I know I'm. it's supposed to be like... Like very very funny but the, the comedic timing is a little off where are we going Psh, i feel like we've now entered another director this is like a dance sequence <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what are we watching? I've also heard that this Casino Royale has nothing at all to do with the with the new Casino Royale, the one with Daniel Craig. Like they could not be further away. The story is completely different. So that's good. I think that's a good thing. You're the very image of your mother, and every bit as beautiful. You knew my mom. I am Sir James Bond. Daddy. My child. <laughs> right? Okay, I was wondering, like, is that his daughter or what? Dump me in an orphanage when I'm three years old. And now, because you need me. Well, it really was very difficult. Put her in an orphanage? Still, you do get my monthly paychecks. Your monthly paychecks went on analyst fees. That's why I came here. I had to get away from it all. Up, oh, Kalil Hookah. Who are all these people? They're the high priests of the temple. Okay, Fred, up it. Ah, John. That's Fred. <laughs> they seem to treat you like some kind of a goddess. Well, I am the celestial virgin of the sacred altar. Is she really a virgin? It's made from poppy seeds. Two cups of this and you're stunned out of your mind. You know, if you weren't my dad, I think I could fancy you. Ew! You remember the old house on the Feldmannstrasse? That has now become International Mother's Help, but that's just a cover for its real function. Does he speak English? Hey, Charlie, speak English? No. <laughs> oh, boy. You want me to be a spy like Mum, huh? Well. Family tradition, my dear. Now, she was a terrible spy. How do I get to Berlin? <laughs> you don't see it. Where to? Berlin. East or west? West, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say goodbye to Dad, Penny? Yes, we'll have a good trip. <laughs> Jolly good luck. Mm, jolly good luck. Woo! This piano. Woohoo! Whoa. Everything's all askew. What is this? Ooh, I love that piano. Who are you? What do you want? I am the daughter of Mata Hari. <laughs> Mata Hari. You are a liar. You look exactly the same. You're even more fascinating than your mother. You must be Frau Hoffner, Mum's teacher. Oh, the Frau. You must be Poland. She remembers me. Welcome home, my child. Welcome indeed, welcome. Stop! Some of the greatest mm. spies in the world. This is like an Escher painting in the background. Have graduated from this institution. Great, Here we have the decoding and cipher class. This is very wacky. My my family needs me charging. Might be your head needs examining. No, I had that examined last week. What's all this about an important conference? Hmm? A representative of Le Chief is coming tonight. Who is Le Chief? Nobody knows. Very mysterious. Not even Le Chief. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. He is using organization funds for his gambling. You mean Smirsh? Smirsh. Smirsh. If he does not pay off his debts, he will be liquidated. Who by? By them. Are they going to do it? Come to me, my little master. Come to me. Come on. About time you were a... Uh... Back in your box, in it. Remember, forget everything I tell you. The sheep. Mm. Le Sheep, the big villain, the big honcho, who I think is going to be Orson Welles, as we have not yet seen him. Look at this toilet. Oh. It's the first John I've ever gone round with. <laughs> this looks so crazy. What kind of a wacky fun house is this? Mm, it is little Otto. He was one of your mother's lovers. We often find him lying around. Is he dead? He always looked like that. Like, is that a joke? Or... Whatever you do, you must not let the Sheep raise the money. Who are you? I'm Carlton Tyler. Of the FO. 200,000 American dollars. 100,000 pounds. A wagon load of vodka. <laughs> Who, who's winning? <laughs> <laughs> Just giving them PTSD. You should not have done this thing. Now I will have to kill you. Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Positive, negative, I never know which is which. <laughs> Give me those films. She blushed them. Oh. oh wow, this is so wacky. Oh. 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 Yes, this is the kind of music. Good exit. That was wild. The ship speaking. And the whole scheme was a failure. And also Dr. Noah knows what you've been up to. Dr. Noah. Just have to raise the money. Yeah, that's him, right? <laughs> or someone else? By playing Baccarat. What about me? <laughs> what, I what's think. Going on? Oh, wow. Meanwhile. Welcome to France, Monsieur Bond. Why? <laughs> 
No one can be such a perverse idiot as to assault a customs official. It must be deliberate. Right? Why do you do that? I have to warn Vesper. You mean James Bond 007, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Gadget watch. Vesper, do you think Tremble could be a double agent? He has enough trouble being a single agent. Right. Over and out. Scallywag. Mr. Bond. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Bond. I miss good thighs. Good thighs. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Yeah, she's trying to kill him, right? She's doing something. Tell me about yourself, James. I've had some pretty wild times in my life. He's trying to do the same to her. I want to know you better. You're absolutely right. Who's gonna pass out first? Look, I think I better freshen up a bit quick. I'll uh, be back in five minutes. If I'm not, start without me. All right, he's out. Oh, he's not really such a wonderful spy. Is he just streaming this while he's out? Are they ever actually going to play this card game? Wake up! You were drugged. And look at you. You're even wearing your glasses. James Bond doesn't wear glasses. But James Bond's not a woman either. What about Miss Goodsize? Don't worry, I took care of her. Now concentrate on the game. Actually killed her. And when I go into that casino tonight and say... <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play cards, I think. I have no idea. For this experiment, I require the assistance of a young lady. She feels no pain. Now will you all place your hands on the table? You're gonna do light as a feather, stiff as a board? Oh, <gasps> levitating? Now well, let's get the show off the ground. How's, how, how's, how's he doing this? Keep your hand in place, madam, and continue to ascend. Sorry to keep you hanging around. Uh, what? What? Is he a magician? Now what happens? First we go to the casino director's office. Point me, just point me. He can't see it doesn't have his glasses. Bond has arrived. Bond is here, all staff on the alert. Come in. Is that a real tiger? No. Okay, good. I uh, see you've put a tiger in your office. Yes, I have several, actually. Yeah, the sets in this movie are very decorated. No card. No card. <laughs> Look at him. Baller. Neuf à la banque. Neuf à la banque. He's got to be the original baller right there. Well, why the dark glasses? Here. Are they cheating glasses? Oh. You win. And Le Chief will almost certainly be killed by his organization. But he'd try and avoid that, wouldn't he? If you win, yes. By trying to kill you. As in dead. As in dead. Let's go down there and you play the game of your life. Yes, I better had. May not be too much more of it left. I am curious to see. Have you had my name in a crevice? Yes, Ron. Ron. Name is familiar. Now I'm flattered you've heard of me. Switched them. Sim Salabim. <laughs> Is he doing these magic tricks? And now, if you're ready, Monsieur Le Chief, I would like to play Baccarat. Like me. Set à la banque. It's amazing. You never lose. Cinq à la banque. It's amazing. What about one for the road? It looks as though luck isn't on your side of the road tonight, old man. She has a habit of moving around. And we might as well double the bank again. Double la banque. Suppose I were to treble it. The bank now stands at 50 million francs. Go on. Oh, all in. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. It's been nice knowing you. By the cat? No cat. Is he bluffing? Hi! I do not know how this game works. Bacara. <gasps> he lost! He lost! Goodbye, Monsieur Le Chief. It was nice knowing you. Let's not say goodbye, Mr. Barn. Let's just say au revoir. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Dead meat. Oops. <gasps> oh. Oh. Kidnapped! Boss? Yes, sir. Look, follow that car. Yes, sir. I'll use Fangio next time, idiot. He, he just took off on foot. Hey, wake up, Mr. Bond. Wake up. Okay, we got sort of a villain situation happening here. You mean you're gonna torture me? Persuade you, Mr. Bond. Persuade you. What was that? What are you going to do? Physically, I'm not going to do anything. Torture of the mind. <laughs> Oh, now we're gonna get just trippy. Suppose Mr. Bond isn't ready to give it to you. Ba -ba -da -da. This is like the absurdity of the 60s. This is tripping me out. It's just making him go mad. How's he, how's he doing that? 
she's there in the fantasy too? Meow. Whoa. You've changed my plans, Miss Lynn. Mr. Tremble! So it's real? The sheep, you're a fool. Smirsh believed you could win at Baccarat. All I need is 24 hours. <laughs> Yeah, this movie doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I don't think. I mean, I, I went in knowing that, but it's, it's crazy to see. I'll be a good girl, run along and watch the changing of the guard. Hey! Put me down! Put me down! Want me to get killed? Must be a commercial. I, uh, is that a spaceship? I don't know what I'm watching. Uh, 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 um... That guy's face is my face watching this movie. Air Ministry, they've lost it. What do you mean you've lost it? You're right on his tail. Come in. It's our annual collection for needy girls. Oh, it's her from the convent. Okay. Your receipt? That's strange. We've never had a receipt before. They're taking your daughter to Casino Royale. The Prime Minister, urgently. <laughs> I thought there was just going to be one random scene like Life of Brian, which I actually love that scene. Uh... I will tell him you are here. Oh, the old tiger eye. Hold it. Back up. March. Oh, secret. Tactic 33A. Just run. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. The random speeding up is so wacky. Operation James Bond. Completed. Dr. Noah, I presume. Dr. Noah. This is all very impressive. You might be even more impressed to meet one of my thousand doubles. It's quite perfect. Oh, is it Woody Allen again? Good lord, it's my nephew. Jimmy Bond? Jimmy Bond. Is he the main bad guy? He's Dr. Noah. What is it? Put a sheet of invisible glass between us. Invisible glass. Dr. Noah's bacillus. This germ, when distributed in the atmosphere, will make all women beautiful and destroy all men over four foot six. There's so much in these that are in the in this movie that is from all the other James Bond movies. You treat all the girls you desire this way. Yes, so yes. I undress them oh, and tie do? them up. Yes, well, I learned well. that in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Do I appear menacing to you at all? Did you ever see yourself in the mirror lately? You are a wretched, grotesque, ridiculous, insignificant little monster. <laughs> do you realize that anything Uncle James can do, I can do better? Ah, that will be the day. Oh, boy. One hand! <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, I feel this girl. It looks like an aspirin, but it's not an aspirin. This pill contains 400 tiny little time pills. Time pill? In five days time, I'll be ruler of the earth. I can't believe he's the bad guy. I'm beginning to wonder if the real genius of the Bond family is not right here in the room with me now. Nice, nice girl. Turn yourself like a nice fool while I slip this on. Yes. Yes, I'll wait over here. Body. She stole it. These are not doubles. These are the real people. At this very minute, the world is being ruled by duplicates under my control. Your rain-cooled tattinger, sir. Is it champagne? For you. Think of it, <gasps> madame. She couldn't do it. Oh, I love politics. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna drink it? Is he gonna drink it? My very special champagne. With your very special pill in it. But did he? But did he? <laughs> Oh god. Uh, this girl's the real hero. Uh, Alka Seltzer. Alka Seltzer. Right? What are they doing? Right. Alright, we're gonna blow this door open, I guess. Through here. Down! Down! Look, quick before the field burns out. Is is the Dr. Noah gonna die or not? He, he ate the pill. Good lord, it's five hours. Sir, we've got to get out of here before he blows up. Is that Frankenstein? Ah! Martha, put your finger in the tiger's ear. Tiger's what? I thought it was the eye. I'd never wanted to stay close behind. Oh no, not me. I'm not chanting that casino again. I'd rather slide down a drain pipe. Beautiful, but no stamina. <laughs> well, bye. Clear the building immediately. It's liable to blow up. Blow up? I yeah, want London. That's right. Whitehall, 0007. Too bad you won't get it, Sir James. I was wondering what happened to her. The American aid, sir. It's arrived. <laughs> I feel like we're building to like a Blazing Saddles meta ending here. <laughs> Everything's gonna go to sh Here we go, we're gonna get wacky. Whoop!
80? 79? Oh god. Well, it's a countdown of sorts. Just seals. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Release the map, I guess. Okay. What? You always with the Orson Welles doing magic. Doesn't matter. Just a monkey. <laughs> This is just getting wacky. C0072. I did read that the last section is directed by a stunt coordinator. They made him a director, so that's gotta be this. 37. Is he really gonna blow up? Three, two. Did they all just die? All the bonds too? The end. Okay guys, well that was Casino Royale 1967 and I'd never say this, but I did not like that movie. I'm sorry if you're a fan. I get it. It's supposed to be a, a spoof and a satire and there's probably a lot of jokes in there that I didn't get. I don't know what to make of that. Well, uh, the only thing I feel after watching that movie is that I, I want to forget it and I, I don't want to associate it with my love for the James Bond movies that I've already watched. You know, I came out of Austin Powers having even more of an appreciation for Bond because they spoofed it so well and it was funny and it paid homage in like a loving way. I just didn't like it to each their own. <laughs> I'm so sorry to any of you guys that watched it and are fans, but for me, this one not in the in the Bond canon for me. I will say the music. I the music I had fun with. So the Saving Grace, Bird Backrack, nailed it for this MVP music. Low key MVP. I mean, there were some great people in it, obviously, and I I laughed at certain parts. You know, Woody Allen was pretty funny in it, and the worst word goes to the whole movie. I know it's supposed to be absurd and maybe make no sense at all. You know, the end of Blazing Saddles made no sense either, but I love that ending. That's a great ending. It didn't do anything for me. It just made me want the movie to be over. So I'm really sorry. That's the way it is. I finally got one. Finally watched one movie that's not a horror movie that I don't like. So there you go. Not a fan. And now I could say I've seen it. And when people talk about the train wreck of the movie, at least I know what they're talking about. So I think we should do Never Say Never again. I think I'll probably do that one next. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a terrible time. <laughs> I'm sorry if you also had a terrible time, but I appreciate you being here and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.